What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome to a very, very special edition unboxing video. I'm very, very excited about this. I'm very, very excited about this one. Um, for those of you who have been with me for a while, you probably know this, if you're new to my channel, I have an extreme love for food. <laughs> I love food. I love cooking food, I love eating food, any type of food, I'm not picky. And I recently got an email from this company, um, ButcherBox, which I've actually heard of ButcherBox before, but I never made the jump in previous years to getting it only because I've been really busy at work lately, so I haven't had as much time to cook. But they reached out to me and they asked if they could send me a box. And I was like, yeah, I would love a box because I love meat, if you guys didn't know that as well. I love food, but I love meat. So they actually sent me this box and I wanna unbox it for you guys and kinda just share a little bit more information about this box. Basically, Butcher Box is a subscription box that sells meats, but here's the thing, and this actually surprised me, I'll be honest, I don't think I fully knew this prior to kind of talking with them, a lot of their meats are like really good meats. When I say really good meats, I mean that they come from a sustainable source. Um, all of the beef in here is grass fed. They have organic chicken. It's just really good quality meat. So it's not like, sometimes when you go to the grocery store you can just get kind of like cheap cuts of meat and you just don't really know where they came from. These are sustainably sourced. Basically they make sure that all of the meat comes from sources that are just raising their animals right, so they're humanely raised, there's never any antibiotics or hormones or added hormones, and they're very high quality. So there's just, I really like that, I think it's cool. I wish that I did better about, in the past, I've kind of, I'll be honest, like in the past you should just buy whatever, but lately I've been a lot more aware of what I'm buying and what I'm putting into my body, especially with Chris and Soren living here because they are definitely um, people who want to know where their items are coming from. So that's been really helpful, but their beef is 100% grass fed, which is awesome. Their pork, so anything that's pork related, their pigs come from sourcing that has bedding and open barns, outdoor access, and a nutritious diet. So they forage and they have an all vegetarian diet. And then their chickens are free range organic chickens that spend their days roosting in barns and exploring the outdoors. So I just thought that was a really, really cool thing. Now, of course, because these items come from sustainable sources and just, you know, they actually care about making sure animals are living a happy life, you know, it is not, I wouldn't say they're pricey, but you get what you pay for is what I would say. Now they have, and I was kind of looking at all the different plans. They have so many different plans. They have different types of boxes. You can get a custom box. You can get mixed box that has all different types of meats. You can get like the beef and pork box or a beef and chicken box, or I think they have just an all beef box or they can have, you can get custom boxes. So within each of these boxes, there's kind of, there's different types of boxes and then there's different, you can get like a classic box, which is $129 a month. Now that does sound like a lot, but in a classic box, you're gonna get anywhere from eight to 11 pounds of meat, which equates to 24 meals or 24 servings of meals. So that's not bad, it's not bad, especially if, depending on what you're cooking, you know, you use it in the right way. They also sell a big box, uh, which is $238 a month, but that comes with anywhere from 16 to 22 pounds of meat, and that makes 48 individual meals, so there's that for you and 48 individual meals I don't know what they differentiate that really like a lot um, but they also have uh, the custom boxes where you can actually choose from I think 21 different cuts what you want and it's $149 a month for 9 to 14 pounds of meat that equals 30 meals or the big box is $270 a month and that comes with 18 to 26 pounds of meat and that um, equals about 60 meals. So uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of different options. I will definitely, I'm gonna put a link below. I do have an affiliate link, just a heads up. So if you wanna use that link, if you're interested in ordering, you know, you can. If not, don't worry about it. But I will post all of that in the description below. And we're gonna go ahead and open this. Now, I'll be honest, this was actually open the day that I received it, because obviously I can't leave meats in a box. So Soren opened it for me. But I just went and put everything back in the box. And I've told everyone, like, you, we can't touch the meat until I film an unboxing video. So that's what I'm gonna do tonight because I already have plans for a lot of the stuff in this box and I'm very excited about it. So let's do this. Once you cut the tape, 
and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. Now again, Soren was the one who actually opened this box, so he had really the hands-on experience, but that night when I came home, he showed me everything, he was like, wow, this box was really impressive. Now he, had, he knew nothing about it, he just said, hey, you got a box outside, and it looks like there might be meat in it, do you want me to take it out? And I said, yes, please. But he was showing me the box, and he was very impressed. So you open up these flaps, right? And on this top part of the box, there was this box here that you pull out. And this is basically just insulation. He said that it was really interesting how cold the box stayed. Um, under the insulation, I think there might have been, there's definitely one other piece of cardboard, but there was a bag of dry ice and then all of the meats. And so a lot of these came frozen. Um, the ribs right now are not frozen because we put them in the refrigerator because we couldn't fit them in our freezer. We have too much stuff. But let me go ahead and pull these out and show you guys what they sent me. I'm very, very excited. So the first item that we got, we have, uh, this is 2.29 pounds of pork spare ribs. And these again are, so no antibiotics, no added hormones, and all vegetarian feed. And so we have a picture of some happy pigs on there. Um, we actually plan to cook these probably, I don't know, maybe tomorrow or maybe Monday, but we have 2.29 pounds of spare ribs, and these are cool. We can, Soren likes to barbecue ribs, so he's probably gonna hit that one up. I don't think we've tried to, you guys know, uh, maybe you don't know, but I've been like obsessed with our sous vide machine, which I'm very, there's some things in here that I can't wait to sous vide. So anyways, we got some spare ribs, some pork spare ribs, so that's cool. The next thing we got, now I'm not a huge fan of this, I'll be honest, like if I had to choose one of the options, I wouldn't choose the mix box because for me personally, I'm not a huge fan of chicken. Um, I don't mind it, it's just not something that I would personally choose to eat if I have an option of pork or beef next to it. I, I tend to go more towards the red meats and I love beef. So we got, this is, let's see, what is this? This is a lot. These are chicken tenderloins, right? So we have three pouches of chicken tenderloins. This is 3.4 pounds. And this is organic, boneless, skinless chicken breast tenderloins. So there's around six to 10 tenderloins in each pouch, which is very, very cool. And yeah, I don't, again, I don't cook. This is organic, it's USDA. It's like actually like certified organic, which is very neat. Um, I don't cook a lot of chicken, but Chris and Soren cook a lot of chicken, so I'll probably let them hit this up. I don't know what kind of things you would do with chicken. Soren just cooked some chicken last night and he like grilled it, so I wonder if you could grill this. Maybe we could do like the Black Widow grilled chicken recipe, potentially. That could be an option there. Um, so that's really nice. And you know, like I said, Chris and Soren, they're very like, conscious about what they eat and so they were actually surprised when they unboxed it. They're like, wow, it's like legitimately organic. And I'm like, yeah, isn't that cool? And so they were pretty impressed by this box. Okay, next, I'm gonna show you this. This is what I'm most excited about. This is two grass-fed ribeye steaks. I love ribeye. Ribeye is my favorite cut of beef. Uh, whenever I'm getting steak, I always choose ribeye. And like I said, we are, or I have lately been obsessed with sous vide meats. And so I'm really excited to sous, sous vide these and then give them a nice little uh, either grill or a nice sear. Oh, it's so great. If you guys haven't sous vide meats, you should try it. It's it's really awesome. It does take a little bit of time, but it's not, it's like you literally put your meat in the sous vide bag with some seasoning and you let it sit for a couple hours. You don't worry about it and you just take it out and you just dry it off and give it a good sear. It's great. And this is really awesome because this is grass fed beef. I don't know honestly if I've eaten a lot of grass fed beef because I don't usually, it's not something that I usually buy, but I'm very, very excited to try this. Like really excited to try that. Okay, next we have two pounds of ground pork. Again, same same situation as before where this is, uh, what is it, no, uh, no hormones added, no antibiotics, all vegetarian feed, and the breeds are chosen for flavor and quality. So we got two pouches of ground pork. I don't use ground pork too often. I usually use ground beef or ground turkey, but I feel like you could use this for anything. Spaghetti, um, you guys know that I like Japanese curry. I'll show you what I'm planning to make some Japanese curry with, but you could use ground pork for, I mean, really you could use it for anything. I would assume that people use it for what? Like spaghetti and or like curry, or you could, I guess you could defrost these and make meatballs. Ooh, actually that sounds delicious. I would love some pork meatballs. Ooh. Mmm. I don't know. Next we have grass-fed beef sirloin tips. So in the uh, packing slip, these are 
wait for it, wait for it. These are good for use of kebabs. And you guys know my most recent Marvel unboxing, I did uh, the hot, or they had the Hawkeye recipe for, for uh, grilled like steak kebabs. So I think that this might be a good option. Jackson's like, yeah, make those. I would love that. And so I think I might use this. We'll defrost these and then use this for some um, steak kebabs that we can cook on the grill. So that's really exciting. I don't know, oh, this is one pound. One pound, 16 ounces of grass-fed beef sirloin tips. Grass-fed and finished, raised without added hormones or antibiotics. That's so exciting. Okay, the last item in the box are two pounds of, grass, of ground beef. Same situation as just what I said before. This is 80% lean, 15% fat, which I like that mixture. Raised without antibiotics or growth hormones. Um, very, very, very excited about this. I've actually been meaning to buy some ground beef so I can make some Japanese curry. You guys know I like to put my, I like to put ground beef in my Japanese curry. I know that's not kind of weird, but I'm like, I don't know. I just prefer it. it. It turns into more like a stew for me, and I really like that. So I'm really, really excited to use that, and uh, I'm going to use probably both both pounds of the ground beef for my next pot of Japanese curry. So the rest of the box is so there's this thing. Now I remember. I don't remember. This is like insulation. I don't know, and this looks like it's made from recycled newspaper actually, which is also very cool. I don't know. I know that the dry ice was on here because Soren showed me. Oh, you can actually, from having the cold meats in this box, this whole box is like cold. That's so weird. This is a very well insulated box, you guys. Like my hand is cold in here. It feels like a cooler. But I know that there was the dry ice and I think this was on top of it and then the meats were on top of that. And then we had this box of insulation. So the meats definitely stayed very, very cold and they would have stayed cold until I got home that night. Um, I just figured since they were home, they could unbox it. But this is definitely something you can order, have it sitting on your front porch and then when you get home, you can put it away. So. Very, very nice. So that's all of the items in this box. Oh, that wasn't good. I just knocked over like three Funko Pops, so my bad. But that's all the items in this box. I'm so excited to try all these out. I wanna say that this is a the classic box, the custom. So this would have cost $129, but this is a lot of meat, and definitely this could go a long way. So depending on how you use it, you definitely could mix and match these things to create a lot of different meals. Now, there's not a lot of people living in my house, so probably each one of these things will go to like one of the meals for all of us, and there's like six of us, so six of us, five of us. There's five of us now, so if I was eating all of this meat on my own, this would make me a lot of meals. For sure, because even just using this for Japanese curry, that literally, that literally makes me like 10 meals, that Japanese curry, it lasts me forever. So I'm very, very excited to use these. I definitely had to film an unboxing video so that we could start cooking it, because we have been looking at it like, ooh, I can't wait to sous vide some steaks, and I can't wait to have some Japanese curry, I can't wait to uh, grill up some steak kebabs, and I can't wait for the pork spare ribs. So as you can tell, I am a beef and pork fan. Uh, Butcher Box, thank you so much for sending me this box. The one promotion that they have going on right now that really caught my eye because, well, it's two things that I love. That's the only reason. So basically, if you order a Butcher Box right now, they actually just added. So right now, in, in, in addition to all the different meats that they have, they actually also have options for salmon and for scallops. So this is what caught my eye because I love scallops. So if you order a, a butcher box right now, and this is before, you have to order before August 22nd, along with whatever it is that you ordered, whatever meat box you ordered, you will get a free pound of wild caught sea scallops and a pack of bacon in your first box. So if you order one of these classic boxes or custom boxes or whatever box you order, Right now, if you order uh, by August 22nd, you'll get one pound of wild caught scallops and a free pack of bacon so that you can make some bacon wrapped scallops. Let's be real, let's be real. Mm. I don't even need the scallops to be bacon. I just love scallops and I love bacon. So I would be super down for, for both of those things. So definitely uh, check out their site. And yeah, if you're gonna order that, definitely get, get all up in that free scallop game. 
Well, guys, that is all I have for you. I will probably, on my Instagram feed, I'll probably be, like, the next time we cook some of these things, I'll probably be um, putting some things up on my Instagram story just so you guys can see what we're cooking, what we're the delicious food that we're cooking. You guys can check that out. But thanks again, ButcherBox, for sending me this box. I'm so excited to try out all of these meats. And if you guys are like me and you love food and you love meat and you are really trying to make sure that the meats that you're getting are just sustainably sourced and just happy animals, definitely, definitely, definitely check out the Butcher Box. All right, guys, that is all I have from this video. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you wanna see more unboxing videos, go and check my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below. One, if you've ever heard of Butcher Box. Two, if you have it, and if you do have it, or you've ever um, gotten the subscription box, what meats are your favorites, and what are your favorite recipes to cook? Or if you just have any recipes that you wanna share with me, maybe specifically about the chicken, because I don't, again, I don't cook a lot of chicken things, so I don't really know, but if you have any good recipes that you would love to share, uh, put them down below because I'd love to read them and I'd love to check it out. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it out of my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. And this video, I'm just gonna give the video shout out to Butcher Box again. Thank you so much for sending me this box. I'm like super stoked about it and I can't wait to cook all of these delicious meats. So thank you for seeing my channel and thinking of me. It actually means a lot because you guys know I haven't been doing a lot of unboxing videos lately. So for a company like this to reach out to me, it's like super dope and I'm super excited. So Butcher Box, you get the video. Shout out. Shout out to you, Butcher Box. Shout out to you. All right, guys. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.